Hey, this is the Black Belt Panda. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this modern kitchen. It features a working refrigerator and Magma Mucin's working microwave. This is part two in the Modern House tutorial series, and when we're done, we'll have a finished modern house. Before we begin, if you'd like to see this build for yourself in person, head on over to the Plots server at plots.pandacraft.org and run the command on the screen. All right, so we're here on the plot next to the modern living room. First thing we're gonna wanna do is grab some white concrete, place it right there on top of that little pillar, and then bring that out by another 10 blocks so that it's 11 blocks wide total. And then go ahead and bring that straight down to the ground. Now we're gonna go around to the back of the living room and we're gonna extend that wall by five blocks and bring that down to the ground as well. And now we're going to extend this out by 11 blocks so that it matches the front. And we can wrap it right around, make a nice big rectangle. And go ahead and bring that corner down as well. All right, should look like that. Now we can head to the front, start working on the windows. So count two blocks into the left, place a block and bring it down to the ground. So we have a two wide window. Now do three blocks to the left, giving us three windows total. Now we can head to the back and do the windows there as well. We're going to make the sides and top two blocks wide each. So left side all the way across the top and then the right side. Now we're gonna count over one block to the left, leave it one block space, bring it down to the ground, make that two blocks wide. Do the same on the other side. And now we have three windows on the back, just like that. For the side wall over here, we can just fill it in completely with the white concrete. All right, looking good. So on this side over here, we're gonna take gray concrete, we're gonna bring that all the way down next to it and extend it out by two blocks to the back. And now we're gonna head around to the front and we're gonna do the same thing. So bring it all the way down and extend it two blocks out to the front. We're gonna bring this one one more block back. And then we can connect across the top. Over to the front, we're gonna count two blocks over towards the left and bring that down so we have a two block gap. And then we can place two more blocks up above. And now we can fill in everything to the left. And it should look like that. Now we can start to fill in the windows. I'm using black stained glass panes. For the doorway, we're gonna place the glass panes on one side only. And then we'll fill in the windows along the back as well. All right, looks good. Now we can head on inside and do the floor. So for the floor, we're going to be using black concrete and white concrete in alternating patterns. So place them every other block and stagger them for each row, just like so, across the entire floor. And now using white concrete, we're going to replace all the grass blocks in between all of the black concrete across the entire floor. All right, nice looking floor. I like it. So now we can go ahead and fill in the entire ceiling with white concrete. And there we go, ceiling's done. For the grass blocks under the windows and the doorways, we're going to be using light gray concrete to replace all of those blocks. Now using the white concrete, we're going to bring a line up right next to the doorway, up to the ceiling, and we're gonna head over four more blocks. 
So it's five blocks in width total and bring that all the way across to the other side. So it should look like that. And now we're going to bring the top along here all the way across to meet. And we have a nice little bit of uh, shape to start our kitchen. Next, we're going to use cyan terracotta and we're going to create a wall back here all the way down to the floor, two blocks wide. And then we're going to bring that all the way across two blocks down like so. Behind that, we're gonna place a dark oak plank and we're gonna bring that out by one. Under that, we're gonna place a quartz pillar block, like so. And then we're going to use upside down dark oak stairs all the way across to the right, leaving a two block gap. And on the last stair, you wanna turn it inward. Just like that. Now under those, we can place dark oak planks. And we have a nice little back wall. I like to fill in this area back here, but it is optional. I just find it looks better from the back of the kitchen when you're looking in through the windows. And this will be an access point for the working microwave. Okay, now we're going to use white concrete and sea lantern on the side here. Place a cauldron for a sink. Grab a hopper and place it in the back corner facing down. More white concrete surrounding that and one block out just like that. Now we're gonna use the observer blocks facing upwards to create a little stove. And then using white concrete, we can fill in the remaining four blocks. Looks pretty good. Up above the stove, we're going to replace the cyan terracotta with quartz pillar blocks to create a stove hood. And in front of it, we're going to place some sea lanterns for some extra lighting. Now we're going to place a dispenser and surround that with quartz pillar blocks. And in front of those, we're going to place some iron doors to create a fridge. You may need to break and replace the iron doors a couple times to get them to line up properly. Next, we're gonna place a button on the side, which will open the door and dispense any items, and then two snow layers on top of each side of the fridge. Above that, we'll place some iron trap doors to create a shelf. And we've got a nice little fridge. We're gonna place some more iron trap doors on the stove hood and right above the hopper. And now we can place some buttons on these two blocks here, either side of the stove hood, and in these middle two white concrete blocks here to create some nice little cabinets. Now we're gonna use black carpet in the corner to hide that sea lantern and in front of the stove as well. We can fill the cauldron with water and place a trip wire hook above it, make it look like a sink, and place a white banner on the front to look like a hand towel. Place a painting there, I like to use that one, and then an iron trap door along the side, facing inward like so and one on top. And that's gonna be our microwave, believe it or not. Now, we're gonna head around to the back here and place a dragon head. Now this is optional, but it does look good. Try to point it inwards about that much. And from the front, it looks like a toaster. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. A little expensive, but pretty cool. So now we're gonna place some dark oak doors. You can use whatever doors you'd like in this little walkway. And in front of that, we'll place a painting. I like to use the one that looks like a guy cooking, like that, because, you know, kitchen. And now we're going to go around into the access room, and we're going to place a lever on the block to the left of the quartz pillar block and activate it. This will close the trap door on the microwave in front and give us the side to our microwave. Next. We're going to count three blocks out from this corner block here, and then three blocks to the right. And we're gonna place an upside down quartz stair right there. And we're gonna wrap that around one block and then bring that in by two more blocks like so. Then we're gonna use dark oak stairs to wrap around and fill in the remaining gap. And we've got a really cool little table. On top of that, we'll place some flower pots and a weighted pressure plate to make it look like cups in a plate. Around to this side, we'll place a gray banner give us a nice little hand towel opposite of the stove. Over here, an upside down quartz stair 
starts our coffee machine. On top, we need to place a comparator facing forward, like so, and activate the comparator, make it look like it's on. Place a sign on the front and an item frame on either side with cocoa beans in them. And we have a cool little coffee machine. Now we can place some curtains on either side of the windows using black banners. Four on either side, looks pretty good. And then in the middle of the middle window, we're going to break down and place levers underneath each of the blocks on either side and activate them. And then we can pillar back up and place an iron trap door on those blocks. And those will be the sides of our bench. Place some string in the middle and some black carpet on either iron trap door as well as the string in the middle and you've got a really nice window bench. Looks pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna place an anvil in the corner with three leaves on top. There's some nice house plants. Really bring some life to the room. And then we're going to start working on the microwave. Now this is Magma Mucin's working microwave. Uh, but to start, you want to dig a hole in the back corner here. We're gonna make it about this big. I'm gonna bring it out by one more block. Just be careful not to break the block under the iron door or it'll break the door and you'll have to replace it. So we're going to place our furnace underneath the hopper we placed earlier. And then we can place our dispenser right in the corner there facing upwards. And then connect them with the hoppers. Now I'm not going to go through this design because it is magma mucins. I will leave a link in the description down below so you can watch his tutorial video on how to build this working microwave. But for the jukebox, you want to place it right back in this corner. This seems to be the best spot. I like to use a really high note for it. And then we're going to place some redstone in front to connect. Just like that. Now the way this works is pretty cool. So you have to fill the furnace with fuel. And when you put your food in it, it's going to cook deliver the cooked food through the hoppers into the dispenser, which will then activate the redstone, firing the food right back out of the dispenser and up through the floor to your feet where you'll pick it up. So it does cook your food for you, just like that. And of course it'll play a nice little ding once you've got your jukebox hooked up. So I'm gonna put some dark oak stairs right back here to make it easy to get in and out. And I'm just going to decorate this area a little bit with some dark oak planks to make it look a little bit nicer in case you're looking in from the back window. Completely optional, you don't have to do this, but I think it just looks a little bit nicer. All right, very nice. So now if we go around to the front, in order to use this microwave, first we have to patch the floor up. So we'll place the uh, black and white concrete. And then you can grab your uncooked food, like raw chicken, aim at the top of the painting right in the middle and throw it. And it'll go into that hopper, down into the furnace and start cooking. And of course, once it's done cooking, you'll hear a nice little ding and your cooked food will pop right up the floor and you'll pick it up automatically. Assuming you have space in your inventory, of course. There we go, we got our cooked food. Working microwave, how cool is that? For the fridge, we can open it up and quickly deposit some food inside. I'm using cookies, and whenever you hit the button, it'll dispense the food inside. So, working refrigerator, very nice. And that's it for the modern kitchen. I think it came out pretty good. If you think so too, please click that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave those in the comments section below. This is the Black Belt Panda. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.